In this video, we are going to discuss light blockers. So I go to my layout, let's say I want shadow in my scene. So I add a plane below the light, scale it up, and I'm gonna subdivide it five times. Now I will deselect the plane. Select random is the function that I'm looking for here. It being on the faces selected in the edit mode. Let's adjust this ratio to your liking. You can change the seed value, delete the faces, control two to subdivide. And now we can see that this is working and I wanna create a shader so that the blocker only um, creating shadow rays. I don't want it to be creating um, light bouncing and a camera ray into the mix shader. So the cool thing about this blocker is I can change the position, I can scale it down, I can bring it closer to the light, I can add different modifiers like a displace and just go to like something like that and it'll change it. Another example would be something like a window pane. So let's bring this light down and act like there's a window blocking, or excuse me, I meant a uh, window curtain. So I'm going to add a plane, scale it on the Y by eight, scale it down, go here, add an array modifier. So it's similar to a window pane. And now go here and let's increase this, increase here, and voila, you now have a window pane. Let's assign it the same shader. You can increase the amount of panes. You could, yet again, like I said, mess with modifiers, mess with them. I promise you will get more interesting results and you'll get cool looking things. I know you can also do this with plants. So you could maybe import a tree and then have that block out the light so it creates more interesting shadows. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something new and interesting.